To ya. It's March 17th, which I realize now is upside down, and it's St. Patrick's Day! Now, I had planned a fantastical St. Patrick's Day celebration for our lads and lassies, but unfortunately, we're fresh out of time, because y'all are at home, and I'm at home, and I'm, my Irish accent's dying. Anyway, um, it's St. Patrick's Day today, and I really did have some fun activities planned. Unfortunately, I couldn't be here with you today. That face. So instead, I wore a giant hat and my bow tie. Um, so welcome to day two of our blog. We're back in my house again. Uh, I apologize for the terrible camera. It just is what it is on my laptop. So gross, gorgeous update to start. Um, still disgusting. They're still just lying on the bottom of the cage doing nothing. So yeah, they're, they haven't moved. They haven't changed position. Uh, although one of them, I think, did move, which I can't decide if it's creepy or cool because I had put him like on the side of the little like cage thingy and then his like little like the butt part of the chrysalis was like stuck to the little like netting. So I moved it because I was like, oh, OK, well, I didn't want that. And then when I came back, yesterday afternoon like I went back in to look at him and then it was stuck again so at least one of them I'm pretty sure it's pickles is still alive so yay pickles keep living um and gorgeous update yep still just a pot of dirt nothing a whole lot going on there um so yeah nothing too terribly much has changed but I did promise you that every day I would ask you a math problem and I would read you a story so we're gonna start with the math problem and then we'll finish up with the story so math problem of the day we're gonna do a themed one since it is St. Patrick's Day. So, uh, math problem today, I'm going to repeat it two times, so you have to listen very carefully. Once you've solved the math problem, you can put your answer to me um, in the comments on our Google Classroom. So, math problem is, if there is a field of 52 clovers and 17 of them are lucky, how many clovers are unlucky? I'm going to repeat it again. If there is a field of 52 clovers and 17 of them are lucky, how many are unlucky? And for a bonus point, tell me what unlucky means. Prefix un, body word, lucky. What does unlucky mean put together? Now for our story. So I had originally planned to read you a St. Patrick's Day story, but I sort of forgot it at work because when I went to school yesterday, I didn't put it with the other books that I was bringing home. And so now I don't have it. Um, but that's fine because I have this story. This is called The Doubtful Guest. And um, it's by Edward Gorey. It's Edward Gorey is the dude, by the way, that has the, I wear the creepy t-shirt with the like creepy people on it. Let's see, Yeah, he's a, a, a children's book author. But he writes kind of creepy stories and like, um, but this one's kind of like a funny, creepy story. So it's called The Doubtful Guest by Edward Gorey. And that's what the first picture looks like. Okay. Then they saw something standing on top of an urn whose peculiar appearance gave them quite, wait, I think I skipped a page. I totally skipped a page. Let me go back. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. When they answered the bell on that wild winter night, there was no one expected, no one in sight. Then they saw something standing on top of an urn whose peculiar appearance gave them quite a turn. What do you think peculiar means in this? Whose peculiar appearance? Peculiar, I mean, appearance just means like how you look or somebody showing up. So what might peculiar mean? Whose peculiar appearance? Gave them quite a turn. All at once it leapt down and ran into the hall, where it chose to remain with its nose to the wall. See, there it is right there. Let me, can I get any closer? I'm sorry, my camera's really bad, I know. It was seemingly deaf to whatever they said, so at last they stopped screaming and went off to bed. And if you're saying, Miss Riley, this is a rhyming book, you would be correct. It is. It joined them at breakfast and presently ate all the syrup and toast and part of a plate. Those of you who are in the sun stars group or the moon group, what animal do we know that we read about that also likes to eat a lot of hot buttered toast? It 
wrenched off the horn from the new gramophone, and it could not be persuaded to leave it alone. Gramophone is what they used to use to play music before we had CD players, and this was where the sound would come out. At times it would tear... Sorry, I didn't put on my hand cream this morning. It betrayed a great liking for peering up flues and peeling the soles of its white canvas shoes. It wears Converse's. That's how we know it's cool. At times it would tear out whole chapters from books or put roomfuls of pictures askew on their hooks. What do you think it means to put something askew on a hook? If a picture is hanging like this and it's put askew, what might askew mean? Every Sunday it brooded and lay on the floor inconveniently close to the drawing room door. Now and then it would vanish for hours from the scene, but alas be discovered inside a tureen. I know this is a weird book. It was the subject to fits of bewildering wrath during which it would hide all the towels from the bath. In the night through the house, it would aimlessly creep, in spite of the fact of its being asleep. So he's sleepwalking in this every night. Do you think sleepwalking is cool or is it creepy? What do you think? I think it's kind of creepy. It would carry off objects of which it grew fond and protect them by dropping them into the pond. What animal do you know that protects things that it loves by burying them? So it takes things that it loves and puts them in a pond. What animal do you know takes things that it loves and buries them under the ground? It came 17 years ago and to this day, it has shown no intention of going away. And that is the end of our story. So, what do you think of this story? Did you like it? Was it weird? Do you not understand it? Are you going, what on earth are you doing, Miss Riley? Let me know in the comments and I will try to read each and every one. Have another lovely day today and make sure that you do another page of your reading and another page of your math and I will upload another video for you tomorrow. All right, bye guys.